Hello everyone, it's Diane. I am back from picking up my car and running my errands. So I am ready to show you what I got at the flea market today. Just a few things. Everything in this pile here um, was from one vendor and he had all of these marked 50% off. So I got this for a quarter. And I started doing this video once, but then I ran out of room on my camera card. I had a bunch of videos that I hadn't deleted yet. So I took care of that. But this is why I wanted this book. It's just typewritten recipes. So these will go in a recipe book uh, journal. These were all together in one packet for 50 or er, a quarter. It was marked 50 cents. I got I paid a quarter for this one too. So this was marked 50 cents. I paid a quarter. And it's circus stuff. So there's this coupon for Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus to get two fifty off. And a Clyde Beatty Circus ticket. Uh, Hannaford Circus advertisement from 1973. This is cut from a local newspaper, the Star Gazette. The Sunday um, supplement, I think. And it's just about the circus. Um, another Clyde Beatty free ticket for a cute uh, child in Ithaca, New York. And then this was this came off the back of this it's um 1988 catalog for fully built utility wagons but it features some Chris, uh, circus stuff this one says big top department It's got poles and rigging and amplifiers, bag, uh, baggage, canvas, dressing and property department, wardrobe department, menagerie department. This is really cool. Sideshow department. Fully built circus utility wagons. And then there's an order form on the back of it. So that was worth a quarter. And then for a quarter, I got this introduction to clowning, and it's it's got this picture on the front that I can use, and it's got this logo for the Clowns of America, the greatest club on earth. This is a 1973 book. It's got this that I can use, and it has typewritten pages about how. Whoops. Let's take care of that. Okay. About how to be a clown and. There is one page with photographs of probably the author of this book progressing in his clown makeup. So those will, those will be fun pages in a circus journal. I got this Raleigh's 1915 Almanac Cookbook and Medical Guide. And it's stamped with the salesman's stamp on it. The Raleigh Man, Auburn, New York. So I guess it's similar to Watkins, which I just have a Watkins book here too. I got Watkins before and I wasn't familiar with it, but a lot of you were. I have heard of Raleigh. Some recipes for candy. There's household hints here. It's cool. And then the Watkins book. This was 50 cents. 1936. The map. It's pretty. So it's an almanac, so it has in interesting information. And of course, advertising. This is very similar to the center of the Raleigh book. 
And there's another. This is where I left off, where the camera quit on me. So we have another 50 cent book from Watkins. This looks like the 1930s also from that picture. Star Spangled Banner right in the front. Love's Old Sweet Song. Watkins Liniment. It's got music in it. Oh, that's why it's called A Few Old Fra Favorites and they're gathered around the piano. Well, that's cool. So it's got music and then it's got testimonials from Watkins customers. Interesting. Then he had some of these magazines. The American Home. Oh, I left one downstairs. I When I left my car at the place to get it inspected, I left my items in the trunk of my car so I wouldn't have to carry them home because I had a hill to walk up. But I brought one magazine with me <laughs> so I wanted to see what they were like. So I left one downstairs. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six of these American Home magazines. This is from June 1933. I am going to adjust this camera a little bit. Sorry, I'm trying not to make you dizzy. Maybe that'll be a little better. I'm not sure. Picture on the front is pretty. The one downstairs looks more like this. It has the writing is smaller at the top and it's got a big picture. But what's interesting about it, see these have some at least one indication of what's inside. The one downstairs doesn't, and it has a beautiful picture of irises, a painting of irises on the front. It says it doesn't scratch. Gardening. Put your hobby on the cellar walls. <laughs> Interesting. They're painting what your interests are on the walls of their basements. Change your pictures twice a year. New equipment for an efficient home laundry. The other book, the other magazine that's downstairs had had an article about laundry too. It was really the pictures are cool. Some homes, bedding, some recipes. Then, I won't go through them all, but this is 1930. This one is 1930. 1930. And 1930. This one's January. July, August, September, and June. I'm going to look inside this one a little bit. Look at that pretty Burpee's Annual Garden Book on the back. So it looks like these don't have any color in them except for the covers. That's pretty. Making the home more livable than it has been before. 
with this modern note of convenience. Telephones throughout the house for greater ease and comfort. Now we just put them in our pockets and carry them with us. Here's some more ho uh, house plans. Look at that. Oh, that's a pretty page. Some china. Maybe I'll put some of these magazines in my shop. Keep one for myself and put the rest in my shop, maybe. I'll have to look through them and see what I want to do with them. <clears throat> and then, I think I got this from him, too. And this one wasn't half price, but it was $4 for this really pretty tin. Old tin of buttons. Look at that pretty card. Lucky lady, or lucky day. Genuine pearl. Sequins. They're not buttons, they're sequins. But they're made out of pearl. Wow. We have swagger pearls for men's shirts. Look at the luster, it says. Bluebird buttons. Ten cents for this card of twelve buttons. These are newer ones. La Chic. La Mode. Sears. These are nice fat buttons. These are the ones you cover with fabric. It's a nice old one. It's just some white buttons in there and a little metal one. And some more metal ones from La Chic. Some more bluebird ones. So tiny and cute. Genuine pearl. Self cover buttons. These are old cards. Lingerie clasps. Lady Fashion. These are clear ones. Some well, plastic rings. Knit for knitting. Look at that little button. And then there's a whole bunch in the tin. Some toggle buttons. A giant one. It's textured. Ooh, that one's pretty. several of these. And then uh, the Blue Van Man came, as I mentioned in the other video, before I left, and I helped him unload some stuff from his van so that I could see what was there. And nobody else was helping him. People usually help him, but all these men were standing around talking watching Dave and me unload his van. But I got more more buttons and tins. So I got this little tin. It's got a camel embossed on it. Maybe I'll try to cover that with alcohol ink or something. There's a little plastic case with a few bobbins in there. And some old buttons. Again, look at the great big purple ones. pretty dirty in there. I'm going to have to take every... Oh, look at this. A little tiny die. There's a couple of those. 
Oops, that button. Got to be careful because there's some pins floating around in there. So I have to take these all out and clean everything up and see what's there. But they're definitely vintage. And I love this tin. Can you see it? It's oval and it's got these handles. It has a label on it. It says Dutch made English style biscuits on the label. There's some seam binding. I love this needle book. Sorry. There's an old pin cushion. This is like a velvety one. And the needle sticking out the bottom. Um, oh, very, very rusty needles. And I like this cloth measuring tape. Some bobbins. They look like they would fit in my machine. Very old packet of snaps. So again, this is really dirty, but I'll clean it up and I'll throw a lot of the stuff away. There's a little hook in there. Is it a button hook? I don't know. Some garter strap. <laughs> Ooh, rusty old key. So this will be fun to go through when I have time. Look at that pretty button. Look at that. It's got a different pattern on each section. It's, it's a two-inch button. That one's pretty. Lots of little tiny, my hands are getting so filthy just going through this. And then I got three books. I got Woods Natural History. I'll clean that cover up. I really like the cover. It's pretty gross looking but hopefully I can clean some up and I can paint over it or just let it be all, all old and rustic I'll have to I like this spine but I will have to make a bigger spine it's got really pretty end papers the lion family this is 1911 Tiger, a llama. Oops, this is cool. It's got good pictures in it. Some pencil or pen and ink drawings. And then the Pixie in School, a happy fairy book. I don't even know if I looked in this. I just saw the cover and sat it aside. It's in very rough shape. 1929. So it does have some pictures. I like the pictures in it. Oh, I already saw that one. I want to see one more picture before I move on. Well, I guess there aren't very many pictures. That's the one we saw. That one's cute. 
There's nothing nicer, I declare, than a pretty little musical chair. <laughs> Look at the treble clock there directing. These are all notes. That's cool. And lastly, I got the Iroquois Science Notebook. A complete record book for laboratory work. 19... Looks like 25 to 26. I don't know, they made their... They're too very weird. I'm not sure what it is. This is... Copyrighted 1925. Yeah, so this must be 1925 and 26 here. So, anyway, index of experiments and then observations, procedures and observations, diagrams. birthday card for the owner of this book. It's just a little postcard type of thing. Very nicely drawn diagrams. And then some of the, the rest of the pages are blank. So isn't that a fun book? Alright, so that's what I got from the flea market. I'm going to clean the dirt off this and come right back because I have a happy mail to show you. It's Labor Day, uh, not Labor Day, it's Veterans Day. I didn't expect any mail, but when I came back from running my errands, there was a box on my porch. So I'll be right back to show you. I haven't opened it yet.